Hey peeps, I'm Andy Lord. I just threw a little mini tantrum there because um, I pressed record and for some reason I didn't uh, start from the start. Anyway, this is a, be a good one for you good healthies. If you're into the good health and your history of where things come from. Before I read this to you, notice it never mentions butchery or slaughter. The only hint of it is fish because it's a living entity. After they were redeemed out of Egypt, the children of Israel had to pass through the wilderness on their way to Canaan. God provided for them food from heaven which fell on the dew each morning. Plants. A food which they called manna. However, they tired of the manna and desired of what they had eaten in Egypt. So they got corrupt by Egypt. In the Numbers 11 we are told that the children of Israel in the wilderness lusted for six things which they fed upon in Egypt. Fish, cucumbers, melons, leeks, onions and garlic. All of these foods were found in or on the earth and they had two characteristics. They were relatively easily to obtain and they were easily contaminated and made unfit to eat. And if you are familiar with the fall of Canaan, they fell into cannibalism. So they went from this, they went from fish, cucumbers, melons, leeks, onions and garlic to eating meat or the flesh of animals to the flesh of humans. Just saying. And you can see their fall from grace of eating their food from earth to the food of man and then to the food of evil. And just an inf interesting fact that the Canaanite knowledge was passed down from centuries and centuries and centuries and I advise you to quickly look into the actual real history of Friday the 13th. Be pretty interested in what you find there. Uh, the etymology of meat is a very interesting one. Meat actually means food. In the 1700s, meat was uh, known as flesh meat. You go back into the Bible, and it says corn. It refers to as corn as meat. Meat has changed its term over the years. We've been brainwashed by evil to live a certain way. And on the screen right now, I'm showing you the amount of fat your heart has to pump around. It's just because you've been brainwashed into eating foods that are not optimal for us. Bad for your heart. Down below, I will give a link. I'll post a link to a discussion on the Joe Rogan show. The typical arguments against plant-based eating. The veganism and plant-based eating are two total fucking different things. It's like getting a plant-based SJW and putting them in the room with me. If I don't go crazy by knocking them the head out uh, over a certain period of time, you know, I'll be able to tolerate them for a while. <laughs> but, um, you know, you get the picture. As you see on screen, your body has to, I know this is CGI, but it's just speeding up the process for what really happens. And your heart has to pump all this stuff around. Your body has to recover on it. So it's not only bad for your heart, it's part of Canaan, ship, ca a Canaan Moloch worship, a bloodletting, a Luciferian doctorate that's been bred into culture.
and if you didn't know, they were Butcher was made synonymous around about the uh, 1700s there's also a call to it to the 1200s um, but it was, na it was named for butchering it, the word come from butchering and slaughtering and basically that was synonymous for being in the meat market around those times because that's when the meanings of words changed from meat of uh, just being the general manner or food um, instead of flesh meat you know it just got termed meat but in more modern times and the reason for this is no sorry the reason for me pointing this out is because this is where all the deflowered women the debauchery, the you know, the plotting, you know, all the, the grimy, groundy things used to happen at the butcher markets in medieval times. You know, the death attracts certain behaviours and certain attributes and over generations it just it does come out. And look at the world today. Look at the world today. Know your history, people. Know your history. And then you can see what they're planning. Hope you all reach spiritual uh, attunement and resonance. And I hope you all live a healthier life. It's Manny Load. Over and out.